Greetings, everybody. I'm updating my health tracker today. If you remember it, it's something I wrote a couple years back. It basically is something where I would type in whatever I've been eating, and it tells me uh, if I'm in a calorie deficit or I've had too many calories that day. It helps me gauge out my macros for all the food I eat. Um, it helps me with my workout routines. It's got a bunch of videos and training. Um, it's something that I uh, I have a, a database running for it. But however, it's it's really time. Uh, t- it's a time suck because when I type in whatever I eat, I have to go do the research of what this meal calories intake was. But then I found edamonline.com. This said uh, it's got developer documentation. I don't have to do the research anymore. I just type in what exactly it is I want. I get an, uh, an app ID and an app key, and um, this API is free, and it'll tell me all the macros of the food I typed in, so I don't have to do the research anymore. It saves a ton of time. So I basically put together the API here with an Axios Git, and as you can see, I'm swinging in with uh, my key and my uh, app ID. And initially, I put it here on... Um, the log nutrition page and this is con- con- what I currently have already without using it I had to manually type in all this stuff so um, I don't want to have to do that anymore so I'm, I'm gonna basically show you a little bit about what we're doing here and I'm gonna move this API to that page over there so uh, let's just show you what I've done now that I've just wrote that get in here and I have the button and all this it's just kind of testing it right now and uh, it's going to give me a console log to see what got returned from uh, my call at this this address right here and here's where the food's going to be all this uh, va- uh, variables there uh, edamame food so let's get going and I'll type in something basic like chicken And as you can see, it returns a big amount of information. So let's uh, let's build out this path. And this is basically all the stuff I need to get. Carbohydrates, fiber, iron, calcium, sodium, all this stuff. And I just want to fill the data that comes in. I've, I've written a path to those values that comes in from whatever I typed. And I want to apply those values to the input field so I don't have to type them anymore. So I understand I'll, I t- I'll type in what I'm, I'm going to get the data for. The API goes and gets it and fills in these fields for me as opposed to... I mean, if I wanted to fill the fields out or change them, I could. But it does all the research for me. It saves all the, the time-oriented stuff. So as you can see here, I just uh, need to put, put the values into each one of the fields. And uh, it won't take... I, I only have like nine or ten of these things. So basically, what, what uh, as you can see, what I'm going to be doing is just getting the values that, uh, that I need and putting them in. So it, it'll just walk with me for a second. I'll get this done. And I guess that my point being, um, there's so many free APIs out there that, uh, you know, a lot of times it's already there. Um, so don't worry about writing a, a huge database of food that you're eating. Coincidentally, if there's already open uh, APIs out there for food. I also found this for like football stats and sports stats. Like there's uh, any number of places for APIs to get stats live, real time. I've also found that the government has a ton of uh, camping and wildlife preserve a- APIs that are free. So, um, you know, to be careful about putting too much time in this and something and recreating the wheel if the wheel's already been created. Um, this is just another example of I've been wasting my time typing up how many research time, how many effort, how many days of effort have I put in researching what was in all my food that I've been eating as opposed to just finding an API. Now, I just wanted to pass this on. Um, which is simple as signing up. And so, as you can see, I'm going to get a, I want a pair, I'm trying my new API. There you go. There's all my returns. All the values are there, as I asked. Um, I feel like one of the things we could help out with is just kind of clean up what I need to do and maybe do a parse float. And see if we can clean these up. 
but other than that, I just wanted to pass along this good, this kind of good natured uh, app that was super easy to kind of, you know, put together over some time. But um, I mean, it's just a bunch of CRUD applications, one on top of the other. And then you use the Apex charts to make it look really pretty. But in all reality, it's something anybody can do. It's just saving values and keys and values into a database. So I just the time and effort it was taking into search was uh, solved by this now. As you can see now, I have, an, I have an API filling this stuff out for me, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. I just need to fix this one field over there. Like, looks like I've missed the fat grams field. But other than that, um, yeah, I just, I'll just fix that real quick. And this is what I had before. I'm just going or control Z to, to remember what I had written. And just it's really just changing the um F A T instead of S F A S A T. So pretty easy to fix. And there's the name of the field, so we'll just definitely need that. And so I'll just make a copy and we'll modify it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Just verify that this works and remember to stay busy um you know the last thing you want to do is fall behind so if you don't have anything going on go find something to do and that's my advice for today uh, let's just make sure that this thing works and i'll go ahead and save it to my database and that worked now it's now it did all the hard lifting for me i just saved it to my database so i'm going to go check and see Grapefruit. There we go. So I'll just take that out and then I'm just going to verify the grapefruit is correct as uh, 38 calories. I'm just going to go double check on grapefruit. Yep, 38 calories. Okay. Looks like we're good to go. It's saving it. Have a great one, everybody.